How long should your stem cell therapy take? But it's a question we get all the time. This is Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the busiest clinics worldwide when it comes to stem cell therapy. So when people come to us, they say, oh, I got this recommendation from Panama, like Neil Riordan or Joe Rogan. They want me to come down for two weeks and get a little bit every day and these other things. That is not necessary. All right. The way that we do our stem cell therapies is either one, two, or a maximum of three days. And because a lot of times people are flying in from halfway across the country or the world. All right. You shouldn't have to take that much time out of your life or your children's lives in order to get these treatments accomplished. The way it should be done is the way that we do it. You can get either one or two or a three day treatment and then go home and if there are ancillary therapies to be accomplished those can be done close to you hyperbaric oxygen therapy speech therapy for for an autistic child things like that and then we'll be able to see over the next three to six months how well that treatment is going to work because a lot of children and adults will end up needing repeat therapies down the road in order to add on to those excellent results or to continue the benefits that have been seen from that. For instance, if we're going to try and help you avoid uh, a kidney transplant or a heart transplant. The bottom line is you don't need a one, two, or three week stem cell therapy treatment plan. What we offer is the most cost effective, the highest quality of any place worldwide. If you like what you're hearing, please smash that like button.